Crossing your seat belts, set it all tight, get your popcorn, go to the one or do an old song from Fino and he entitled this one Father Father. He featured the Lamido on the song. Yeah. So yeah, this is a this is like a bogger. A Yoruba Ibo jammed together. In the middle you've got the melodies and it's well served for you to eat. But today I'm here for dissecting and analyzing this for you. So if you've not yet subscribed, please I want to audio you please click on the subscription button. Please do me that favor. And I want to also urge you all to check on the notification bell and click on it. So whenever there's a new video, you will definitely be the first one to be notified that there's a new content. And that being said, share this video to your friends, well wishers, loved ones, acquaintance, those you're trying to get close to and make them understand. And yeah, you can count on my translation. And that being said, I want to say thank you to you all and God bless you. So let's jump on the song. The song we're doing today is a song from Fino featuring Olamide. And they entitled this one, Father, Father. It's an oldie. It's an old song, but it's an evergreen song. It's a song, whatever you put it on, people are going to shake their body. And people are going to like resonate with the words and what the song has to share content-wise. So that being said, the song started with Fino saying, Shinekene mego kwa mwombe yensege. Every day by day, I just they celebrate. And this means like, God has lifted the son of a very poor man, a man who is not supposed to be blessed by God, but God chose him and lifted him up. And he's using that to connote himself being Fino, but has actually lifted him up from the trenches, coming from a family that is not too well to be when it comes to status-wise, financial-wise. God has now put him in a place where he's doing well and his family is known through him, through his talent. And, you know, that's what it means. And Ezekide is his alter ego, is Fino's older name. And, yeah, he went on to say, every day by day, I just celebrate. So, when God chooses you and make you rich, how do you live life? Even if you want to live a low-key life, there's something you can take away from being rich, and that's celebrating. So, whatever you do low-key, if you're wealthy, it's celebration. So, that's what the second line um, meant when he said, every day by day, I want to celebrate. And that's self-explanatory, but I had to break it down. He went on to say, everything I do, it just they penetrate, which means whichever business, because some people say business is a risk. So whichever business you're doing, it's either you lose or you profit. So he's trying to say whatever business is doing, it penetrates. It means he's making it, he's cashing out, you know. And, you know, he went on to say, I just want to say thank you, Jehovah. And this is like an appreciation song. This is like a gospel song in a way, you know, as much as it can be played in both worlds, it can be played in the church and it can be played in the clubs or what have you, functions and, you know, lounge. And after that, he went on to say, see, I'm living large. I get angels from my gate. Never forget where I came from. Not from gate. This is a pigeon English, but if you read along, it's quite easy to be understood. He's trying to say like he's got angels on his gates and he doesn't believe in man or on man security, like having bodyguards, because he is a very rugged guy. He came from the ghetto. So if you're coming to plan bad on him in his house, you should remember he has gone through those life in the past, because he's a street guy. He came from the ghetto. As much as he doesn't believe on men, bodyguard security, he is able to even secure and protect himself, as much as he has God, you know, with him. He went on to say, I just want to say thank you, Jehovah, when he said, Father, Father, he is referring to God. And, you know, with that masculinity now, he went on to say, Bure kene re wotito. E kene is thanks. Wotito is praise. So he's trying to say, God, take my praises and thanks. Father, Father, you know. Adequam loyal means he's very loyal. Then after that, the verse one came up when he said, E ma puti ruogo, one ne bello e bello. I call ogi yai for one ne, you must query. And this means like, when you're in the trenches and you're trying to make it, you shouldn't be all about a proud life you should have a low-key life imbibed in you so that's what he meant when he said and that means if you come out in a war front but he used it as a metaphor the war front there is you trying to make it in life he went on to say bele bello like be all about a low-key vibe even if you know what you're doing make it seem more of a calculative move than being loud he went on to say I call a guy for one day you must query, which means like 
if he breaks down what he has gone through in life, you will have to learn from him. Query means believe. You you know, believe his advice. He wanted to say, see, I come from East, enter street, brother, you know. So me talking about, you know, being an Igbo boy, Igbos are those situated in the southeastern part of Nigeria. So he's a guy from the East. So him telling you he came from the East and coming to Lagos, which is the commercial city of music, he got into the streets. No one made it easy for him. He had to start from the scratch, even when he is well known in the East. But to be known globally he has to conquer Lagos and he did that so that's what he was trying to like tell you you have to be humble because there's a war front out there millions of people want to be musicians but we get to hear few of them who have actually made it and they go through this war every day some die of depression some die of disbelief some invest so lot and couldn't get to where they want to get and they become suicidal but over here he's trying to tell you that war front he survived it so take his advice because he did Bello Bello. He lived a low key life while he was fighting. And, you know, now you people know him, even though he came from the East. He went on to say, Is he me fair? I turned to be one day, you already know. So he's trying to tell you, they showed him so much maliciousness, disregard, so much disrespect. That's when he says, Is he me fair? Like they showed him, you know. And that's things they showed him, all those things they true on him while he was trying to grow when he was you know trying to fight his way to the limelight made him turn to beast now you should know he's a beast you know and he went on the next line to say and this means like him transforming from a human to a beast metaphorically he wouldn't even forget the person who kept giving him life even when he doesn't deserve it and that's god he went on to say the person who gave him life in those times he should have been depressed he should have fallen in disbelief. He wouldn't cease giving the being who is God praise. And the next line went on to say, which actually means the same thing with the previous line, but now the difference is feyefe. And feyefe means he's gonna worship, he's gonna bow, he's gonna pray, he's gonna pay loyalty, commitment, devotion to this God that gave him life he wanted to say is a behavior a behavior means forever till infinity so he's saying god is still infinity but he used is to connote god here and is in evil land means king king who dwells and liveth forever for infinity the next line went on to say and that king is the same person that gave him this financial power the money he's got today the wealth is god is from this king of infinity and he's gonna give him praise. He went on to say, Mananda Bolum putum geze heze in the Obolo. And this actually means a funny one though. Those that actually, you know, projected maliciousness to him, wickedness when he was growing, he went on to say, like, you know, Ngeze heze is a somebody in evil means, you know, to be very careful of the people. I want to use the word dodge, but that's an old English. I'm trying to find a way. Like, he's going to stay clear from those people. That's the easiest way to say it. You know, like, he's going to be sneaky, you know, with them. And, you know, and that's what it means by zeheze. He wanted to say ndiobolo. And obolo means, you know, what doesn't have content, like an empty vessel. You know, obokoro is from a word, obokoro, something that doesn't have content inside. So you refer to those people. As that he went on to say, Sao Balambut Mga Koya. So, when in Igbo land they say someone baggy boot, like it means someone actually you know stretched out their leg to impede your movement so you can fall. So, he said that chick, that girl that actually wanted to make him fall not in love but fall in a bad way that actually underrated him. That he's gonna akoya, akoya means he's gonna put the girl one side and act as if the girl is not existing. So when they say call this person, it means like ignore the person. So he's trying to say like he's going to ignore this girl existence. And after that, he went on and switched into rap and said, I came, I saw and conquer. So we should come by here under. I fired them with stone. And this means like he came, he saw and conquered, just like Jesus said, you know. And he went on to say some of them call him and start seeing him as Mr. Wonder. They are still wondering how he got to where he got to, 
and some of them wish him to get under and that means I'm wanting him to die but he fired them with the thunder of God he went on to say Wana koze kwa no nuju, which means that he's living a large life you know a wealthy life in abundance uju means abundance like you know when they say obia nuju that means that wealth came in abundance you know uju there means abundance you know and he went on to say i cover myself he's covering himself with the protection of god that's what he went on to say there then after that the chorus came and said you know which i've explained earlier on and after that you know the king of the west when it comes to rap um now came in and i'm talking of no other person but olamide he went on with his second verse that by motto i did travel go but do ipo and this means like you know he caught himself a very good wheel a very good car and now he's traveling globally overseas wherever he wants to go and overseas here is connoted as Obodo Ibo, and that's what is called in Ibo land. If you travel overseas, it's Obodo Ibo. Um, yeah. So after that, he went on to say, a private jet remain for me, Baba, you know. And to put this in context, when Olamide sang the song, he hasn't started flying private jets, because this song is quite old. But today, for both of you who have seen Olamide doing private jet, you wouldn't think it was like, you know, lying with the song no the song was old so he was trying to say then he's been going everywhere just for him to be able to make money that would afford him private jet trip and he has already done that now given his success in music and helping other musicians grow so yeah shout out to you olami they would love what to make me have so many subscribers here so you if you're listening please please subscribe so it remain for me to get many subscribers. <laughs> yeah, we're going to a 10,000 mark. Please be part of it right here. Yeah. And after that, he went on to say, Okudili Biko Bianeba Teki Photo. Okudili is a masculine name in Igbo. So he's talking to a photographer who is an Igbo guy that, you know, wants to take him a photo. He's telling the guy, come here and take me this photo. You understand? The next line went on to say, you know, easy to the chill with Governor Ampo Day. So those of you who know your current affairs and history very well, you from Nigeria, and for those who are not from Nigeria, Governor Ambode at the point at the time they released the song was the governor of Lagos. So he's telling his photographer to come take a photo with him and Governor Ambode. As he went on to say, it's not easy to scale or jump all the protocols it takes before chilling with the governor. So the next line went on to say, Now, father figure, the governor, he beat to him. So it means like the governor is a father figure to him. Since he lost his mom, that's Governor Ambode adopted him. And that's what the next line say. I see gone at the days where Owu the hug me. And Owu here means brokenness. Like when someone is broke, when someone is drought of money, when someone has nothing. So Olamide is testifying like gone at those days. Owu no they hug him again. He has nothing to do with being broke. Right now, now all the chicks, they sit down with me. When you're successful, you know what it attracts. The first thing it attracts is the opposite sex. If you're female, you're successful, it attracts the opposite sex, which is male. If you're male, you're successful, it attracts the opposite sex, who are females. So it depends on your preference right now to know who you're going to choose. But Olamide is trying to tell you, like, the chicks are all over him, the girls, you know, are all over him. And he went on to thank Jehovah. Agune Chemba Kanchawa on the next line for that. And these are titles for God. Jehovah and another title there where it's Agune Chemba translate as the lion who guards the nation. And the Akanchawa metaphorically it means a hand that can supply anything to you, anything you want. And that's Akanchawa. And the next line went on to say that pounds and dollars, me and my friends, they take shower. You can see now the friends he keeps are friends who are financially buoyant like him. Since he's the adopted son of the governor. <laughs> so he went on to add an Ogili song from the olden days. The melody where he said, Oh yeah, Walele, where you day? A Binobaku, where you day? And this means like, where are you guys who were there with him from the day one? Where are you guys? Come, you know, let's celebrate. That's what that melody and line meant. So after that, you know, the chorus came again. Where Fino say, Chineke, Nemego Kwamu Benyezege, could have lifted son of a poor man to be a rich person or a child of a poor person to be a rich and wealthy powerful person and after that the chorus ran all through as the song wrapped up so i want to say thank you to you all who are here to listen to this 
analysis please share this video you can't just let this analysis be known by just you share this video to friends and tell them to subscribe after they listen if you like this analysis please it's just a tap sometimes you need and ask god for help but god measure your own blessing what according to how you give people what they want i just did a tap from you subscribe like and that's it but for some it's difficult for them why they want blessings you know karma is real please if you don't subscribe if you don't like videos people put hours in making how will god listen to you how will you convince him like you can help people with the wealth or what he want him to bless you with so please help a brother by clicking that subscription button the notification bell click on it also so when there's a new video you get to be notified and also share the video again and again and that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Peace and compliment of the season. Tina can make go kwang o when you say Every day by day I just they celebrate. Everything I do we just they penetrate.